What is going on, all of you growers and smokers out there? Easy Breezy here, coming back guys with another video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be talking about FAE and how important it is to grow in your mushrooms. Now, before we get started with all of this, let's give some Patreon shoutouts. So, so of course, uh, shout out to Patreon supporters, Dom Lee, Michelle, Travis Winnie, Alex Armojo, and Gabrielle Dale, and of course, all the ones that you see on screen right now. Thank you guys so much, and of course, if you want to be a Patreon sponsor too, for as little as a dollar a month, uh, be sure to check out the link in the description, along with a bunch of other links that are also in the description too. Um, there's a lot of uh, different items that you could purchase um, that you may need while growing, or something like that. I don't know where I'm going with that. Anyways, I'm sorry for this bad uh, quality of the microphone. I'm using my uh, microphone that I used to have for a game and setup uh, when I did a game and channel. So very sorry for that, of course. So this video, guys, we're gonna be talking about FAE, and uh, I'm gonna let a future version of me take it away from here. So uh, I'll catch you guys in a second, I suppose. All right, thank you so much for that introduction, Past Breezy. Let Future Breezy take it from here. And the only reason why Past Breezy wanted Future Breezy to make this in two separate parts, so in that case, if I mess up while recording this, I can just go back and edit through it. Very smart thinking, Past Breezy. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's just get right into this, guys. Uh, you're probably seeing some sort of gameplay uh, right now, don't let that deceive you. I'll probably be putting up pictures and stuff like that as I'm explaining. I just kind of want something going on as a background just so you can see something probably fit in the demographics for the age range. I'm going to be playing Pokemon. Guys, let's be serious. I'm going to play Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon Red, right? I think that's what I'm playing. Pokemon Red. Let's do it. All right, so let's just jump right into this. So first, uh, what is FAE? To put it simply, FAE or Free Air Exchange. Some people call it Frequent Air Exchange. Uh, I don't hear that term very often, but it does come up. Uh, so, it's when air enters the fruiting chamber to exchange carbon dioxide with oxygen. Uh, it also does this through another means, in which we will get into later on in the video. So, it also encourages evaporation, which will raise the humidity. And uh, I know this video is about FAE, and I'll go into more detail in humidity. Uh, but this video is important to mention. Too much humidity can kill the mushroom. Uh, it, it can do other things. I think I explain it more in this video. So why is oxygen important for fruit and mushrooms? So uh, I guess let's talk about how mushrooms exchange oxygen. The exchange of gases occur in the cells of mushrooms, much like the plants do with CO2. O2 goes through the stoma of the cell, and CO2 comes out much like it would work in a plant. Um, and they also have another way, of course, I'm getting ahead of myself here, um, and another way, which you will see here in one minute. Uh, so, FAE is also important for not only fruiting, but also for colonization. Mycelium also needs air to grow, which, uh, th that's why we put the holes in the lids of our jars, or of some, some way of exchanging air, uh, when we have a jar, uh, or bags, uh, some, some bags that I've seen have uh, airports or they have these little uh, what do you call it some sort of cotton um, that is kind of sealed into the plastic uh, that's another way that they exchange air so another thing you guys might be wondering is yo breezy what about the wild mycelium uh, how can it get air when it's you know five or ten feet underground what about all that and that's a good question and uh, if you guys have ever, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you have looked at your jars while they were grown or bags or whatever it is you have. And you might have noticed maybe little hairs or threads. And uh, they can be very, very small, almost microscopic. And these are called hyphae. And uh, what they do with these is they absorb uh, oxygen from tiny pockets uh, of air in the soil. However, however, guys, this doesn't last forever. It's only for the the... Well, mainly, I guess I could say, it's only for the uh, colonization stage. Uh, when the when the mycelium fruits, when the mushrooms actually start growing, its primary source of oxygen comes from the cells. And, um, I mean, I know I said it in the beginning of this video about the humidity thing. 
it's very very important to keep your your humidity not that high uh humidity is like 99 percent 100 percent stuff like that it's not actually good for it. higher humidities can and will kill the mushrooms um and again that's a future video but um so now that we know a little bit uh about how how uh, FAE works, why it's important, stuff like that. Well, what happens if you don't have any FAE or very little FAE? What happens then? It might not pin. The growth could stall. Um, making Pretty much making aborts. If you guys have ever seen one, I'll probably be showing one on screen right now. Um, I'm sure you have. But uh, The mycelium might be fuzzy. So, uh, on the top of it, depending on how you have it. So, if you have it colonizing in a... Uh, your bulk substrate uh, and you see it starting to come up onto the top layer I've seen this before uh, it almost looked really fuzzy not knots it's not knots but it's fuzzy uh, and that's that could be a uh, low oxygen there um, so the bottom of the stem fuzzy feet uh, I'm sure we've all have seen that uh, and and even saying this now I actually <laughs> do have some fuzzy feet's growing that I actually forgot about. I, I have a bin that I forgot about and mushrooms are growing out of it and I completely forgot about that one. Um, and they, they definitely have a bad case of fuzzy feet going on right now. So uh, also there's uh, long skinny stems and um, basically when it's growing it looks like it could be a very big mushroom. Uh, you guys have probably seen the mushroom that I've grew that was like what was it, 70 grams or something like that. Um, there are also some that are that I've grown actually personally that I thought was going to be that size too, but once they dried, it turned into like one gram, and um, that that is also because of lack of FAE. Um, so I could I could go on and on about this forever. I just kind of wanted to make a quicker video. Uh, I hope this isn't too terribly long, uh, but I could honestly probably ramble on about this stuff for hours uh, or make even a 30 minute video in conclusion i guess guys make sure you have fae uh i'm gonna be coming up for video here soon guys showing you how i'm making my own automated um fruit in chamber uh showing you guys so you don't have to fan you don't have to spray you don't have to do anything like that you just put in your bulk substrate let it go come back and harvest it um so I'm going to be getting into it more uh, than I guess. And um, I guess this is the end of the video. Wow. This, uh, yeah, this took me a little while to make. And I'm super sad that it's over. So anyways, guys, if you want more videos that are kind of like this, um, make sure you leave a comment down below. Tell me what videos you would like to see. Uh, what do you need explaining? Uh, lighten do you want me to explain lighten how the lighten works that could be a long video but I'll be more than happy to do it um, the humidity obviously that's gonna be a video uh, monotub versus shotgun chamber uh, if you guys like videos like that actually explaining the process of growing and instead of me just standing there saying oh hey you're gonna mix these ingredients because that's why I say so uh, or or because you read it in a form uh, if you guys want me to actually explain what nutrients mushrooms need, uh, stuff like that, why do they need them, you know, everything like that, leave a comment down below. And uh, a like would be very nice because this video has probably taken me a long time to make. Um, so, yeah, I guess uh, that's the end. So if you like this content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep on growing, keep on smoking, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.